what's going on everyone my name is Nicholas Merton here at Data Dash and today is October 8th of 2017 well folks as you all keep up with the channel you know that I love getting feedback down in the comments down below and I've probably gotten just this past week alone over a hundred requests about this cryptocurrency and in fact it actually got second place on my recent ICO straw poll that I launched out to cover on this channel and it is no other than Walton Chain. I've seen that there's an absolute fan base behind this cryptocurrency, and I can see that there's some decent optimism behind it and reason to be optimistic. So today I'm going to finally cover it. I know I'm a little bit behind in the sense of uh, covering Walton Chain. Uh, it's been out for quite some time, came out in early September after it launched its ICO, and it's been quite successful since then. So with all the China funding kind of disappearing, from the space. Walton Chain has been able to kill it recently. And we're going to learn as we go into it really what Walton Chain is trying to do. It's trying to tap into something known as the Internet of Things. And if you don't know what the Internet of Things means, it's pretty much tracking information uh, for supply chain management. That's the general kind of sense of the Internet of Things. Now, it could be a lot of different things as well, but Walton Coin right now is focusing on supply chain management and bringing that industry to blockchain, which is something that is very, very feasible to bring to the blockchain. And we'll talk about it more as we go through the video. So real quick though, as always, before we do any fundamental analysis, looking at the fundamentals of the technology, the team and the concept, we got to take a look at the numbers as always. So here for Walton, we can see that the market cap is sitting just under $200 million and it has gone over it before. However, we're experiencing a slight pullback here and we can see that the volume is remaining strong as well. So the valuation I would almost consider pretty much as a mid cap by now, seeing as it's around $200 million in valuation. Its volume is looking nice, it's easy to trade and invest in. And you can also see that the circulating supply is quite nice. Now, there's going to be an eventual, there's an eventual max supply of 100 million Walton coins. And there's a total supply right now of 70 million. So I would assume the differential is because of the ICO and who holds a decent chunk, but I would assume the Walton team has a decent amount as well for development costs. So that being said, we can see that the volume and the price action is looking quite bullish on this. Now, why has this been able to spike up so much ever since? Well, I'm going to say there's a few factors in this. We'll go and look at the big chunk of it, which is fundamentals. And I think people just realizing how much opportunity there is with this. But along with this, this has had a recent benefit, much like most ch recent kind of Chinese ICOs or even past ICOs like NEO that have uh, kind of been fearful of China. You know, there's been a lot of news around it. There's a lot of flooding. And we kind of got out of that phase. Um, and, you know, what's kind of happened is said and done. You know, there's, there's not much uh, headlines rushing against these ICOs. So, or at least these players in China. So we'll have to see um, if Walton Chain can remain sound, if the funding is going to come back. That's really the only worry I have with this uh, cryptocurrency. But outside of that, let's go ahead and take a look at Walton. So Walton Chain is bringing blockchain to RFID technology. And this is trying to spark something uh, kind of known as the Internet of Things. As I was talking about earlier, it's tracking of information, uh, being able to store that information, and keep track of mostly supply chain management. So a few different ways that you could uh, do this in a sense of practical business application is tracking of temperature, tracking of quality assurance, tracking of location. Uh, you know, is it at the warehouse in Shanghai? Or is it on a shipping boat going across the Pacific Sea? You know, there's all kinds of different ways that you can track things through the Internet of Things and use it, um, use RFID technology to do so. And securing it on the blockchain is extremely good because it's better for transactions of information as well as security and storage of that information because a lot of the times that information can be vital and it's needed that it's, it's, it's very needed from the start that it's secured. Okay? So, Again, this is something that could very well be put on the blockchain. Now, a lot of people are curious about the name Walton. Walton originally was named after the creator of RFID technology. And RFID, RFID technology has changed the world in a lot of ways. It's been very, very efficient and very good for supply chain management, as well as keeping track of quality assurance for products. So they named it after the founder of the RFID chip. And I think actually they launched the ICO on the fifth year of his passing. So rip Walton, but <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's, it's a very interesting technology. And of course they got their little acronym here, wisdom, alter, label, trade, organization, and network. And 
basically, I know a lot of you might think, you're like, Nick, this is an interesting concept. This sounds great. It seems like they have a great branding. It was a recent Chinese ICO, so it's got to be big. But, you know, what's the value of the token? It's always a fair question. As much as we might have this great technology, if they don't guarantee that there's going to be a sense of value in that token, there's going to be a demand for that token. If it's the utility of that platform, you know, how is it going to get that kind of demand? Well, it is a utility-based cryptocurrency, or token in this case. So Walton itself is um, basically going to be the central currency for the parent chain and sub chains of the network. So for example, let's say that I need to, um, I'm running a company, okay? I'm running a, a retail company, I sell clothing in China and as well as other global countries. So when I'm sending out my different supplies, I'm sending out all kinds of shirts, different designs, whatever it may be, and I'm sending it out to all these different countries, I need to keep track of that information. I need to make sure I know where it is, the quality assurance of it, if something went wrong, etc. So because of that, I'm going to build a sub chain on the Walton chain. And to do that, to track all that information, I'm going to need Walton coin. There is going to be a cost associated with it. You know, it's probably much cheaper than the other alternatives out there. And because of that, I'm going to be attracted to it. And I'm going to put my demand towards the platform. But it does two things of value here. We give value to the Walton chain as a whole when I have my data and information on it. Now, of course, it's secure. It's not for sale, but it does give it a sense of value and trust. It gives it a sense of adoption. And also along with that, it gives the Walton chain coin value because I need to I need to buy it. I need to give it a sense of demand. I'm purchasing the Walton chain coin so I can keep track of my information. So for those of you out there who are holding it or considering holding it, if you see the price continuing to rise, it's because the demand and adoption is coming into the Walton platform. Now this is more for the long term. There is some corporate adoption, as we'll see in just a minute, which is really what's giving Walton a decent amount of value. And as we see continued adoption in the space, that is what's going to give it value. It's again another utility token uh, or utility cryptocurrency. And I think that this is something that is really going to take off if adoption can go. It's, it's pretty much a, it's a, a, a kind of a one-on-one one one kind of factor. If, if adoption comes, the value of the, the uh, Walton, uh, Walton chain coin goes up. So again, very interesting. Uh, I think it's good so long as it can keep competitive with traditional centralized institutions. The added security and transaction of information on the blockchain is probably a massive plus. And if the cost can stay with it, I think Walton can really dominate in this space. Now, for some reason, the introduction video will never load for me, so I'm sorry I can't play this for you all, but I recommend if you can get it to load, go watch it. But there's a few phases to the project for Walton Chain that really entice me. They're taking it a step at a time, and as we'll look later on, they have a great roadmap, as you can see down below, and we have it translated for English, don't worry. But basically, this whole kind of Internet of Things concept needs to be taken in a few steps and phases. It, it would be too bold to just try to tap into every single industry right away. Now, Walton Chain wants to do that eventually, but for right now, they're focusing primarily on retail, okay? So they've got a few of their partners that they're working with in trying to implement RFID technology. And eventually, if it goes successful, they'll move on to stage two, stage three, and stage four, okay? So there's a lot to look forward to. I think retail is a great market to tap into. They already have some great Chinese partners out there working with Walton Chain. And I think it'll be an awesome, great kind of test phase to see if things really work well. But we'll learn later on at, through their roadmap that really they have been testing this for quite some time. And actually, the project has been pretty short-lived, but they've been extremely efficient at delivering on what they're doing. So, for example, they kicked off the project in 2016. Okay, So really, November of 2016 isn't that far away. Really just honestly, you know, almost a year ago. Uh, and because of it launching so relevantly soon, it's been able to do so much. They've been able to develop patented technology. They've been able to run test systems, get corporate partners to work with over the time that they've been you know, existing. And because of that, it's proven that they're a very effective team. And the roadmap as well is looking very nice. They're looking to get a Walton Digital Wallet, which is good. They're looking to do uh, more simulation tests and prototype tests for the RFID chips. Um, they're looking to eventually implement smart contracts into the system, which is going to be very necessary for mass scale adoption. Um, they're looking to do mass production of um, blockchain RFID tags, so they'll be able to send out to mass corporate enterprise, and that will be good for Walton as well. That if, if they get good sales numbers on those, that's going to attract a lot of individuals. And I think 
in general, you're really going to start seeing, as they're saying here with 2020, really the push for the Internet of Things on the blockchain. I've said for a while that there is there's too much of uh, let's take this industry and put it on the blockchain. You know there is a lot of that out there. There's uh, let's let's put uh, you know, social media on the blockchain. Let's put you know yada yada on the blockchain. It could be really anything. Supply chain management though has a technological advantage on the blockchain. This is something that is you know actually reasonable to bring to the blockchain. And I gotta be fair, I think a lot of people have a misconception. There are competitors out there that are doing this exact same thing. They're trying to get supply chain management, internet of things onto the blockchain. However, and the sense of adoption, which we all know is the main factor here, one is the leader right now. And it's been very short lived, only since November, 2016. They've been very successful at delivering on their roadmap. And if they can continue to deliver on this roadmap, I think that they can be the leader in the space. Not to mention, it's in China. There's a little bit of hype behind China as well. And I think that, you know, the team, as we're going to look at, is really, really stellar. Um, again, as we, before we look at the team, though, I want to emphasize on the corporate adoption of partners. They've gotten people in retail. They've gotten people in agriculture, shipping, whatever it may be. They've got massive corporate partners in China. No other global partners in the sense of the U.S. from what I can see. But it's good to see that they're starting off local in China and seeing if they can really develop at a more local stage. The last thing I want to talk about is the team. The team is pretty stellar. They have a nice scalable team. Now, keep in mind, this is a, a team working and kind of a, in a centralized benefit in the sense. It, it is a company. Walton itself is a company in China. Okay. Now, that being said, this project is going to be something that can scale to a multiple amount of industries. And it is decentralized in the sense of the blockchain. So there is centralized aspects to it, seeing as it's created by a company, but it's still a blockchain, it's still decentralized, and you can create sub-chains on top of the Walton chain. Uh, so again, sorry, a little bit of a tangent there, but I just want to make sure that even though it is a company, I want you to keep in mind that this is definitely a very stellar team to have on the project. They have people who have years of experience working inside multiple amounts of companies, in uh, both in China and Korea and different uh, Asian, uh, Asian nation states but they've got a lot of people on the team. Now, of course, I didn't get the time to look through every single team member, but they do have people with years of experience, high levels of talent, and I mean, it is definitely something to marvel at. You usually don't see cryptocurrency projects with this kind of scalable team. So, again, I recommend you look into the team, look at their experience, uh, check and see if you can get into you know seeing any interviews. I love to talk with some of the founders of the project. I'm very interested to see how corporate adoption's going. I'd love to see you know how the team's working and everything. Are things going well with the project? You know, there's a lot of questions I do have for Walton that I can't really get from the website and all the research that I've done. However, Walton does seem promising, and it's something that if it were to get towards a billion dollars, you know, there's still a lot more room to go. I don't know if it can get to a billion yet. We've just got to see continued corporate adoption as it's showing, something that a lot of cryptocurrencies aren't seeing right now. They, there's a lot of players in the space that are proposing that the next big thing, or also doing things that, what, what, what is, uh, you know, things that Walton's doing. But at the end of the day, Walton's the leader right now in RFID technology. It's why it's getting so much praise right now. Uh, the one thing I'd say that I'd like to see in Walton, outside of more information and uh, more, you know, kind of connection with the community, they do have a very active uh, Reddit community. The one thing I want to see is more exchanges. I want to see this get on Bitrix. I want to see this get on um, Bitfinex. A lot of other big, big exchanges. And when it does that, when it gets on those exchanges, I think you could see this pull very well, much like what we saw with Neo, Omise Go, and get into the billion dollar range. I think we could see it. Now, I'm going to tell you all right now, I'm not holding any Walton coin because I don't have an account through Binance. But if it moves to Bitrix, or if I open a Binance account, I'll definitely consider investing in this. It looks interesting. I can see why there's such an active community behind it. I can see why the hype is there. The hype is real, and it's relatively justified. It's good to start seeing some ICOs, or recent ICOs, that have come onto the market, and these cryptocurrencies that have decent adoption. They have partnerships. It's important to see adoption of the blockchain, rather than saying in the next five to 10 years, we're gonna get adoption. No, they have it right now, they're testing it, they're working on mass scale expansion, and I'm glad to see the Walton Project succeeding. It's gonna be a very, very beautiful thing to see 
RFID technology, and supply chain management on the blockchain. And I wish them all the best of luck, whether or not I invest in it or not. Anyways, everyone, that's it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed my video on Walton Chain. It's a very interesting project, as you can probably tell. I'm optimistic on it, but I want to see more continued news on it. I want to keep up to date with the project, and I'll let you all know if there's any big changes or anything like that. But if you've got a coin or token you want me to cover, leave it down in the comments down below in the video. You all know I love getting feedback from you. But until then, everyone, I will see you all in the next video. Stay tuned.